Rise of Bunk Done, Chapter 4, Reflections. I do quite enjoy these documentary style videos. I heard there's a huge documentary coming out about BTS on Disney Channel. I would that would be really fun to watch to you guys. Because I already watch a lot of documentaries nowadays. You know, it's right up my alley in terms of what I like to watch. There's a song like this. <laughs> Dude. RM looks so good. Dude. Knowing Jin, like what type of person he is, you know, seeing him do that. <laughs> I love that. And I freaking love like I love his personality. Like RM's personality completely has taken me over. Whoa, what song is this? That this will go to my gym playlist. Oh, this is the when Jungkook is about to graduate. <laughs> Jungkook is like a proud son. You know, when he's performing, he looks for his parents in the audience, and Jungkook is looking at all the members. He's like, Where are my guys? <laughs> <laughs> Look at everyone looking at Jungkook. All the girls are looking at Jungkook. <laughs> oh, first time seeing Jungkook's parents. <laughs>
Uh, you know, during this time, their success wasn't guaranteed. And hearing especially RM talk like this is so inspiring. And, you no, know, looking at their, they're reading the mean comments that they're throwing on. It's just you know, surprising to see since I'm a new fan. And all I know is how big BTS is. And when I read the comments, it's nothing but positive. And looking back to their old days where when I see how much they were criticized, it is surprising. You can definitely see that our older songs, the lyrics were a lot more degenerate. <sighs> this is the exact dance practice, this room, a lot of the videos were filmed at. <sighs> Let's go! Move! 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 Do you think that guy regrets now not joining? Um, he's probably thinking about it, the possibilities of what he could have been if he joined RM in the beginning. I always wondered like, what happens to a lot of the idols who are practicing with them. And some of them fell off. Maybe some of them got a normal job. Would you even be able to get a normal job after experiencing this idle lifestyle? Do you think a normal lifestyle will be boring for you? It would be a really interesting documentary to watch just to see the aftermath of people who didn't end up pursuing the idle career or just not in the entertainment business. They were in it when they were young and now they're working a normal life. That would be a really interesting documentary to watch. There's one man who's done more than almost anybody else to shape K-pop, Suman Lee of SM Entertainment. Suman Lee's global ambition didn't get off to the best of starts. His first signing, former dancer Hyun Jin Young, went to prison for drugs possession. Because we consider them as idols, we don't allow any speck of dust on them. So we don't just stop it saying drugs is bad, don't do it. We don't, we don't do that. We say you are out of this industry. You shall forever be banned from the stage. The scandal was a valuable lesson for Sue Man Lee, who realized that to be successful... You know, even the name idol, you have to present yourself in a certain way that the name idol, when you have that name, there's a sudden pressure that I feel, like responsibility that I feel. Like I have to keep myself this way. And if you imagine all the BTS members, they were so young when they started and they had to hold that responsibility when they were high school kids, when they're little. And if I imagine myself when I was in high school, I was a, man, I was so stupid. I, I couldn't be like them when I was in high school. I was so immature. His artists would not only need to be incredible performers, they'd also have to be impeccably behaved. And so he began developing a system for training raw talent. The system ended up being a great success 
and every major South Korean managerial company to this day follows it. And this is only from my experiences. But managements could always check your phone at any time that they want. No junk food. No going out. They have terms like no dating, dieting, um, some even have like plastic surgery. I remember that I was too dark, like my skin was too tan and I had to brighten my skin. I know that there's a standard, I know that there is this goal that we're all trying to achieve. And you know, being in an industry where it's so visually focused, you know, you, you're gonna go through the checklist of, okay, are your, is your hair on point? Yeah, the, the brightening of skin part, it's, it's really interesting just to see, you know, what's unique and uncommon in the society, in the country you're living in, that's considered beautiful. So in Korea, I would assume the large population of people have a darker tone of skin. So if you have a paler skin, well, you stand out from the normal. Therefore, that is the beauty standard. The most uncommon things become the beautiful part. So if you go to some countries where a lot of the times there's no sun, that's when you try to get tanner. Because if you're a tanner now, well, you're the uncommon amongst the nor normal people, the average people. Do you want to watch these videos without any YouTube ads or without any editing? And check the link in the description for Patreon. Sometimes I have to add a little bit of a screen on top where I have to change the audio a little bit. So if you want to watch videos without any YouTube ads or without any editing, check the link in the description for Patreon. Plus, you'll get other benefits like full TV show reactions, music reactions, album reactions that is exclusive on Patreon. Oftentimes I'll watch a music video and certain live performances and dance practice performances will be exclusive on Patreon. But if you just want to watch it on YouTube, that is okay. I think 80% of the content that I produce will be for free on YouTube. So it's okay to watch this on YouTube. But if you want to enjoy some exclusive benefits or if you want to watch videos without any ads or without any editing, then check out Patreon. That's it. Bye bye. Are is your face on point? Are, are is what you're wearing good? Are you doing the Gucci pin or the Gucci? Ah, you know seeing them struggle like this um I'm, I'm happy because in the soup once they become successful now they can write their own music be in charge of their creative process and you know, there's not many rules they have to follow now this there's still certain rules there's still certain response at least they have a lot more freedom than they used to in the back and you know dating when you're young uh going out when you're young experiencing that it's part of I guess becoming an adult, you ha you experience all those things, and missing out on those, uh, it's tough. It's, again, considering how young they were when they started. Fighting, J O B, look good, young guy, do it. Phew. Then I'm gonna go. Then I'm gonna 그럼 한번 해보자. 그때부터 이제 쭉 같이 공연도 하고. 대담협이 인터뷰 뭐라고 했을 것 같아요. RM is happy and nervous. 김남준은 방탄소년단이 됐네요. 아 근데 어? 어? 이럴 수가. 근데 너 화장하고 어떻게 나가? 나? 화장하고 어떻게 나가? 개집애처럼. 개집애처럼. 
준비하고 연습하고 다섯 다시 연습하고 그 다음에 다시 방송하고 근데 나는 솔직히 너가 지금 약간 좀 진지 빠는 얘기지만 네. 이제 너는 되게 랩을 보여주고 싶어 하잖아 정도 막 그런 거 있잖아 막 너만 할수 있는 얘기 있잖아 언더그라운드라는 거 자체가 굉장히 인디펜던트하고 자기 자주성을 가지고 하는 거잖아요 근데 아이돌이라는 거는 회사의 기획과 그래서 자기가 하고 싶은 걸 사실 할수 없어요 왜냐면은 회사에서 봤을 때는 이거는 대중들이 원하는 게 아닌데 그러면은 이제 언더 매니아, 힙합 매니아라고 하는 사람들은 그런 거를 당연히 안 좋게 보죠 음, But maybe that's why uh, BTS stood out a lot You know, r m came from this underground really individual uh, background and combining it with the company the idol he found something in the middle so that's what made him stand out from all the other groups and that's what contributed to uh, bts success of course it's a it's a lot of other factors coming in together it's never one thing right it's, it's rm's leadership and it's rm's uh, bringing this underground background to the bts group and of course all the members contributing together it's, it's so many puzzles just fit together perfectly oh i have to listen to this <laughs> this is one piece and I'm white beard. You just have a long beard like catfish. Any one fans fans out here? Uh. Oh my gosh. I need to listen to this ASAP. <laughs> oh my gosh, this song, an RM song, I need to listen to it, this is perfect for my lifts. Yeah. For the fans, each note handwritten too. Karajoto, <laughs> 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 Uh, he did this during his, his birthday, right? He's giving it away his birthday. <laughs> Yeah, they will
It makes me happy knowing that, you know, they made it in the end. I can see why this chapter was called Reflection. There's no need for us to rush through. So now your dad comes out. Did you see the way Jin was looking at Hobi? You know, everyone of course teared up, but I just want to say from the previous three chapters, this chapter has been my favorite chapter so far. Jungle. Wow. This episode was so thoughtful. I got to hear what they were thinking about while they're in the process of trying to achieve their goals and you no know, hearing rm speak in this long form was also really good to listen to and i would love to listen to a full podcast of just all the members talking about their experiences what they went through and you know now they achieve their success how do they feel about the days they've gone through in the past just hearing the thoughts and also getting a good insight about the Korean entertainment and idol industry. That was really interesting. Do you want to watch these videos without any YouTube ads or without any editing? And check the link in the description for Patreon. Sometimes I have to add a little bit of a screen on top where I have to change the audio a little bit. So if you want to watch videos without any YouTube ads or without any editing, check the link in the description for Patreon. Plus, you will get other benefits like full TV show reactions, music reactions, album reactions that is exclusive on Patreon. Oftentimes I'll watch a music video and certain live performances and dance practice performances will be exclusive on Patreon. But if you just want to watch it on YouTube, that is okay. I think 80% of the content that I produce will be for free on YouTube. So it's okay to watch this on YouTube. But if you want to enjoy some exclusive benefits or if you want to watch videos without any ads or without any editing, then check out Patreon. That's it. Bye bye.
인생이 방황이라고 생각을 하기 때문에 인생 방황 연속이고 사실 지금 더군다나 또 젊어서 많이 방황할 시기라는 생각이 든다. That's why Hobby was good to play tennis and in the soup. Ooh, nice layout. 처음에 다 알아줬으면 그런 직관적인 가사 음악도 좋지만 들을수록 더 맛이 나고 아 이런 뜻이었구나 내가 이런 의미로 이쁘게 이렇게 썼었구나 라는 그런 음악을 좀 만드는 게 나의 의무이고 좀더 나의, 나의 오랜 팬들을 좀 만들 수 있는 계기가 아닌가 라고 생각을 한다 여기는 아 비치? 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 끄집어내고 이런 일들을 좀더 힘쓰고 그냥 다른 나의 길을 간다는 생각으로 이렇게 해야 될것 같다고 잘할 거다 잘해봤으니까 아마 그럴 것 같다 나는 어차피 나니까 어차피 나니까 나와서 앞으로도 좋은 음악 파이팅 <웃음> We'll prove it to them, right? Alright He said we'll prove it to you guys In the beginning when he was reading the mean comments Also the Suga's uh, crying part It was really sweet and uh, sad moment um, It was really yeah, That touched me That really stood out RM saying I'll prove it to you Was a really badass moment And uh, Man, I love RM. I just I love hearing him talk. He's really insightful. I would I would really really love to listen to you. the Suchvita episode with Sugar and RM, but it's after a bon voyage. You well, you guys get to decide. <laughs> Hey, what's up, man? Oh my God! Oh my God. What yeah. Hopefully, that's not awkward. I don't know why that felt a little awkward when they're filming with the people in America. The hair gave it away, the pineapple hair. <laughs> <laughs> this was a really really great episode definitely my favorite one so far